What's going on guys, Greek Freak here, and in this video we're going to be talking about the Timberwolves and the Timberwolves looking to actively trade Andrew Wiggins. Now of course, as we know, Andrew Wiggins, former number one overall pick with the Cleveland Cavaliers being traded immediately when LeBron made his return for Kevin Love. And in many cases, many people thought the fact that Andrew Wiggins was going to be a superstar caliber player when it came to the draft. Now as far as that, he has not of course lived up to those expectations and has actually been really much decreasing as far as his value is in the last few years now he looked to be perfectly fine when he was by himself for a little bit showing improvement as a player you would expect to see but it was once you started adding even more talent that he really didn't seem to appear and more importantly and the worst part is the efficiency now right here as you can see his field goal percentage is 364th his per only a 12.4 and his real plus minus, which would be the points of which he, the difference between whenever he's on and off the court. So whenever you really think about it, I think the fact that whenever you see something like this, this is obviously something you don't want to see from a player that you owe, of course, $122 million within the next four years with no option at the end of that contract either. So whenever we look at this, here's of course one thing that we definitely saw as far as a good side, which was his rookie season. Very good numbers, ending up winning of course rookie of the year that year. With almost 17 points per game, almost four and a half rebounds, two assists, shooting a low percentage from three, at that point a little bit below, an average overly good player, and an okay field goal percentage for a rookie. But here's the problem, even though he made improvements as the years really moved on, it's that this season we didn't see much difference even from his rookie year as far as this. Sure, he averaged a few more points, a tiny bit of a rebound more, and a little bit of an assist more, and shot at the three-point line at what I would consider an average NBA player shooting three. But the field goal percentage once again going down. And you have to think, his rookie season, there wasn't much on the team. And now you have somebody like Carl Anthony Towns. Half the season he had Jimmy Butler. And of course, many people are really thinking the fact that it's his motor, something that he's just not really being active at in that case. Not only that, of course, his defense is to me below standard. And of course, whenever you look at his salary right here. Now, the one good thing about this is the fact he was given this max before just as the cap started to majorly increase. So if you do look at those end years, only one season are you really paying him over what an average max player would be getting. So you're not way going over, but as far as this, that's really just the main point here. So what teams would be interested in trying to add this type of contract to their type of team? Now, I'm hearing the fact that as far as in reports that the Miami Heat may be interested in making a trade for Andrew Wiggins. Now, remember, he is still a young player. We've seen him do better than this, so it shows the fact he has the ability to do it. Now, maybe it's the situation of which he's at. Maybe if Miami thinks that they can get more out of him. And like I mentioned before, with Hassan Whiteside being there, now if they would do a trade like that, of course the salaries would match very well. But I would see Miami doing it to get rid of that contract. And of course, to try to build off of this, they would actually have to believe in Andrew Wiggins in that case. Now for the Minnesota Timberwolves, if they make this move and they just do something like that, they would be doing that just trying to get this contract off of hand, which I don't see as much of a sense. Now, the major move that I'd see the Turbo Wolves really wanting to make would be to trade with the Brooklyn Nets and try to get D'Angelo Russell. Now, D'Angelo Russell is a restricted free agent, which means the fact that, yes, teams can offer him more money, that max money, but in the long run, the Nets have the ability to match that deal. And even though they do believe the fact that they are getting Kyrie Irving and Kevin Durant, they can still add and give him a max contract due to the fact that he is a natural player that's been there. So they can actually break the cap in that case and they would just pay in the luxury. And when you're talking about the Nets who has a multi-billion dollar owner, there has already paid luxury tax before, I don't think the fact that that's against him to do it. And if you do something like this, you're adding something like Andrew Wiggins. And if you think the fact that Andrew Wiggins can be a good third person on there, and of course you would be talking about a way better, as far as even talented perspective around him, it could really see that. Now, of course, as we know, this 
if he does end up going to the Brooklyn Nets, it would be a situation where it'd be him and Kyrie Irving sort of as the two person rather than the third person. But whenever you have somebody like Kevin Durant around, I think the fact that that could work out as well. And I think for the Timberwolves, D'Angelo Russell would be a great fit for them due to the fact that they're in need of a point guard. As we saw, they didn't go for a point guard in the draft. So therefore, you have to think the fact that they're making some type of move and they really would like to see a point guard coming out of some type of trade in the far future. So expect the fact that something like that's gonna happen. Andrew Wiggins is most likely gonna be traded probably within the season. If they have to, the Timberwolves will have to, of course, try to get Andrew Wiggins to perform better at the beginning of this season due to the fact of his decrease in his numbers throughout this year. But guys, tell me what your guys' thoughts are on this. What team do you think should trade Andrew Wiggins? Do you think that there's a team that he would be best fitted with? Or do you think the fact that it was a slump year and the fact that he'll be able to step it up from there? But guys, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure that you guys leave a like and subscribe to become part of the Greek Army today. And as always, this is Sparta.